Okay. Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a few of the bits of equipment that I use to make my videos, be it in the studio or out and about. I only started doing this just over a year ago and I've accumulated a lot of new toys in that time, especially recently. If you've been following my Instagram, you'll, you'll know already. Um, if not, I'll show you in a second. When I first started, I was just using my phone. Now the audio and video quality on that um, iPhone isn't great. I think at the time I probably had a iPhone 6 or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. Got the iPhone 7 Plus now. And the video's okay and the audio's okay, but they're not fantastic. This is the first test with this camera and the new microphone that I've got just above it. That's why I'm looking above you now. So we'll see how this turns out. Before I get started with any of this, I wanted to say thank you to Chris for this picture here that he got from the Comic-Con in London. It's a piece of artwork by killerbunny.co.uk, link down below. Chris bought this for me and I didn't ask for it but he knows how much that I love Tails, hence my channel's name, Miles Prower. And I just wanted to show my appreciation by saying, guys, if you're into your video games, go and check him out. His name on YouTube is Inflatable Mango. Again, I'll bung the link below, but share him some love, tell him I sent you. Now the first thing that I check when I go away anywhere is my portable chargers and I've accumulated quite a lot over the years, especially the most recent one which is this one. It was on offer at Tesco's for about £4, it's so small and lightweight and it's 5000 mAh. I've become quite obsessed with a brand called Easyac who do quite a load of different power supplies and this is my beefiest one of theirs which is 15000 mAh and it's got a normal charger and a super fast charger. I've got this one from Kit Vision. I only bought because it was ridiculously cheap and it's got a built-in micro and it's also got a micro SD, can you see that? Uh, just there, micro SD slot there. My last of the EasyAC ones is this little beauty here, which is so handy. It's just like a, I think they call it a lipstick one. This is 3350mAh. Now the last of my power banks is the one that I love the most. It's incredible. For those of you who knew that I did the 24 hour marathon on video games a little while ago, I bought this just before that so that I could transfer the data that I was recording on my GoPro onto this to clear out the memory card so I can continue recording. However, I couldn't take the laptop with me because Emily needed it at home so I had to find a way of transferring data from my GoPro straight to an external hard drive. Basically, you can plug your SD card into this end and then you can chuck, if I can open it up, it's got a USB slot there, but the handy thing about this is it has its own Wi-Fi. So, hello, who's that? Okay, hang on a sec. Funnily enough, good timing. That's my latest toy. Thank you, Amazon. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, this doohickey. Great fun, because it gives its own Wi-Fi power. You can connect up to five devices to it. So if you have something on an external hard drive, like if you're traveling in the car and you all want to watch some videos that are on the hard drive, then you can all connect to it through, through Wi-Fi and plug the external hard drive into the USB slot and you can all connect wirelessly to the external hard drive. And you can also make your normal external hard drive wireless at home, which is extremely helpful. Another function it has is extending your Wi-Fi. All you have to do is connect this to your Wi-Fi and then from anywhere in the house, wherever you connect to this, will connect you straight to your home hub, thus extending your Wi-Fi capabilities if you've got like a dead spot in your house. Also, is useful as a power bank. My next toy, if you followed me on Instagram, you may know what this is. This is a gimbal for action cameras, which gives you a steady shot using pretty much any action camera. I'll give you an example. This is just one of my cameras. I'll go into these in a minute. Stick that into there. Might help if I put the batteries in as well. Right, this is from Xeon and they are very good, especially their custom service is incredible. Give it a second and there we go. That is what a gimbal does. But also this one has different options, panning left and right and not up and down, not panning at all or 
panning every which way. Also, if you do it three times, you do this. Whoa! It comes with a selfie stick. It also comes with a spare set of batteries. It comes with this case as well. You can connect this straight to your GoPro and charge it at the same time. And the selfie stick, of course, expands quite a lot and also has a funky little thing on it so you can adjust it thus wise. Ah. Now I've shown you this selfie stick, I'll show you this selfie stick. Now this is a much simpler one and as you can tell by the sound of it, not exactly expensive or anything like that but it is incredibly lightweight and has the foam handle there. Now I have a few different tripods, Gorillapod, little tripods, got normal tripods, the better tripod which is the Velbin EF44. Next is on to the cameras. First camera I got was the GoPro Hero 3 and I still use this even though it's quite ancient now. I'd love to have a 5. The next one I got was the Soko F23. It does have the display on the back. The one that I got after that, after look, doing a lot of research into GoPro alternatives, was the C30. With the GoPro Hero 3, you can have it narrow, normal, or wide. This one's got four different settings of whiteness. It was the only one that I could find at the time that did that. Plus it's got Wi-Fi on it, which the other Soko one doesn't. The one that I picked up more recently, action camera wise, is because Asda was having a, a like meltdown sale. And I picked up this one that I usually use as a helmet camera. This is the Kit Vision Rush. This again has Wi-Fi, so you can use it as a viewfinder. The app is, there's two different apps, one to use it as a viewfinder, one to download the files. They're both really good. I'm gonna try and record on my phone now so I can show you this camera and you can actually see the difference between what the quality is like as well. See you in a second. Not entirely sure what this is gonna look and sound like, but I wanted to show you this beast anyway. This is the camera that I was just recording on. This is the Rode Micro Mic, and this is the Lumix FZ330. Very handy for vlogging because it has the flick screen. Also, you can control it through Wi-Fi using a app on the phone. If you really want to, though, that I can connect my gimbal to it. So if I really wanted to be sad, one second, this will be worth it. I could actually have this as a picture camera and have this recording video at the same time. It's still interesting to see exactly what it looks like on top of a camera. But this, this camera here is amazing. The audio and video quality on it are very good. Although the audio quality not so great because I needed to buy this mic, which also came with the windsock, which I did a test skating into town the other day, and it makes such a difference. Now it comes down to the toy that just came through the door. It's nothing exciting. It is a 360 degree, it's basically an egg timer that you can stick a camera on the top of. I'm hoping I can do decent time lapses by putting this on here. Just see how much I can Tetris on top of one thing or another, shall I? This kind of sums up how much of a, a weird, geeky person I am. So what do you think? So that's a bit of an insight as to what little gadgety bits I have. Oh yeah, the last bit that I'll show you is my bag, which carries it all in. It has really handy bits on the side so I can put my tripods in the side. It has an awesome GoPro connector on the front with the camera and funky bits in there. That is my that is my collection of the gadgets that I use to do my YouTube videos in studio and out and about. If you have any queries, let me know. Thanks again to Chris for this awesome artwork. For now, I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye.